Hey guys, this is player one. And this is player two. And we're coming to you with uh, more or less stuff that we've picked up in the last couple months. I thought it might be a cool idea to just show off some of the stuff we've been able to pick up in thrift stores, on sale, or any cool things that we picked up. Yeah, and um, for the month of September, and I guess October, right? Yeah, because, or I guess half of October, we're not done yet. Yeah, because we're not done with October. And for me, September and October, or half of October, has been an actually a very good month, especially for collecting a lot of the old games for on the cheap. So I guess, do you want to go first or do I go first? You can go first if you want. Okay, so I'll go first. Um, my first round is a couple of PS uh, PlayStation titles and a Dream Dreamcast title. Uh, I was particularly blown away by this one because I used to love the cartoon, uh, the Roswell Conspiracies. Um, so naturally for me it was pick it up right away and especially since it was on less than two dollars where I bought it um, it was a no-brainer I also you, do you know anything about the game I don't know too much about the game it's the first time I ever saw it oh, wow it still has a sticker yeah that very cool. <laughs> that's quality right there um, but yeah I don't know too much about the game um, if it's anything like the like the cartoon then I'm excited for it either way I'll still play it if you guys want to review I'll review it or any of these titles that I'll show today. Yeah, I think if you guys see anything you want reviewed, or just maybe talk about more in depth, feel free to leave me a comment below, and then we'll get to that right away. But other than that, um, you got a sports title. Yes, I got a sports title. It was a Dreamcast. I want to complete my Dreamcast collection, so that's why I bought it. I even brought a free rubber band for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so yeah, I brought the rubber band, and I got 007. Um, these are three that I that I needed to get. Once I saw them, the next uh, group of, of games that I'm gonna show you are games that I got at my nearest Goodwill. Um, these are games of the at the Xbox games. Uh, they each were under three dollars. Some of them between two to two fifty. So don't pay attention to these um, relic price tags. Um, but what sold me on them, and some of you guys will appreciate. They all oh, brought nice, manuals. Man. Yes, they nice. all brought the manuals and they were in great condition. Which for me as a collector, I really love. Let um, me see that Civil War one. I've never seen that one before. Yeah, it's a, it's, I've never played it. So by the History Channel? Yeah, it's, I think it's by the History Channel, but I've never played it. So it'll be a first for me. If it ends up being an awful game, uh, I can't really, <laughs> I don't care. I'll complete complain. my collection and also it's under $2. All so, right, so I'm going to start off with one that I think most people probably have, um, but it's, it's a nice find for the cheap. I got it in a, in a garage sale. Oh, Tell yes. Yeah, I for the GameCube. I don't have this one yet. Well, I do have it, but not as a no. GameCube. Well, I have the PS3, the Tales of, uh, what is it, Tell? Oh, damn, I forgot what it's called. Whatever, I have the PS3 version that has part one and then also uh, part two. But the point is, I don't have it on GameCube, so I thought it, it would be cool to pick up. And again, manual, to this absolutely complete, which I, I greatly appreciate. So you mind if I borrow this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I promise to never return it to you. <laughs> um, on to some other things I've picked up. Uh, I've already unboxed this on the channel, so you guys can check that out from Limited Run Games One Way Heroes. And I don't have all the Limited Run Games here with me, but I, um, you guys know what I've already had on my channel. I did this one, I got Shadow Complex and stuff like that, so you can check that out in the unboxings. Here's one game. Here's one game I haven't talked about before. So this is Project X Zone 2. Let me get that closer to the camera. Project X Zone 2. And I haven't even opened it yet. But I got it on the cheap. It was about 9 bucks on, on Amazon. Um, if you don't know about this game, um, I, I'm actually a little bit past halfway on part 1. I'm loving the game. It's basically like an RTS title. It's not as sophisticated as Fire Emblem, but what it is, it's, it's crazy in the animations. You have all these different characters from Capcom and from... Sega getting together and just going crazy and going from dimension to dimension. It's basically fan service. That's what you, that's what you get. All these different cool characters coming together. You have guys from Shenmue, Tales, uh, Tekken, Street Fighter, Devil May Cry, a bunch of games. And this one, actually, which I haven't played it played yet again, um, this one's pretty cool because they, they added some new characters. They have Fire Emblem, so that's kind of cool. And they added, I think, the Phoenix Wright series and all that. So it's awesome. I'm about three quarters of the way uh, into the first one, which I'm trying to beat, and I, I really like it. So, pick that up on the cheap. Alright, for me, I guess I'll continue my run from uh, Goodwill. 
and I, the next three titles are Xbox titles as well. Um, Fable, Splinter Cell, and Secret Weapons over Normandy. I've never played this game before, so it'll also be a first. But this game, I used to love it. I used to love playing it. And my copy was actually a really bad copy. So when I opened it, of course, and I saw that the manual nice. was in there and the CD was in a good condition, I picked it up. Uh, I really like Fable. I remember playing that for hours and hours. And just so you know, guys, um, if you guys are wondering, just look at this. Look at these conditions. Oops, I should have touched that, but look at that. That is beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Oh, um, great. How much were they? Th this one was actually $2. So, damn. It, it was a, That's a great find. It, yeah, it was a great find for me. Um, and immediately I saw it, I just picked up all the games. It's hard to say no when you find them on cheap. Even like the, I'm making fun of you for the sports game, but really, when they're like under two bucks, it's hard to say no. You just want to pick them up. Exactly. All right, so here are two games I picked up for the Xbox also uh, from a thrift store. Uh, Far Cry Instincts, which I really don't know much about. I haven't been a huge fan of the most recent Far Cries, but i definitely give it a try. And Halo 2. Now, I already own the limited edition or the collector's edition, but I don't have the, the regular box. Is oh, that the one that comes with the different manual? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I'll show you. This one oh, has... Let me help you. This, is, this one has, a, I guess, the human version of the manual. I have the other one, the Covenant version. Uh, because it comes with a collector's edition, but so it was cool to just kind of pick this manual up. I don't have it, and again, it was on the cheap. So, so I guess it's my turn. Um, I guess the next couple titles, um, there'll be PlayStation 2 titles. Um, again, we have Splinter Cell, uh, Pandora Tomorrow. Uh, oh, actually, this is a GameCube title, but we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I always like this game to play it, and I uh, never really had a copy because kind of borrowed it from my friend um, but now I do and Jack uh, the great juju challenge um, never played this one so player one actually told me as soon as I called him I wasn't gonna get it but he told me go ahead and get it and so I yeah, went it's ahead a, it's a, I don't know how great it is but people talk about it. it's cool to own and I think if you guys run into any kind of GameCube game that's kind of cheap I say just pick it up yeah and since I'm trying to um, actually start building my collection of PlayStation 2 GameCube and um, Xbox titles, basically collecting all together, then for me it was a no-brainer, especially for two dollars, so. Alright, so for me, I got a couple PS2 titles actually. Let me kind of put these in group. First of all, if you can focus, there you go. Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5 Empires. I'm sure like many of you, I grew up playing all these Dynasty Warrior games. Um, and they're more or less the same, but they're still fun to get into. I especially had a lot of fun with this when I was really young. Yeah, we used to play it. Yeah, we used to play it quite a bit. You can see Player 2 and I have been friends for a while. I can't believe I've stood them for this long. but <laughs> I'm just here to borrow the games and never return them. <laughs> but the point is, uh, the, again, great finds. I actually got this at Goodwill. Um, so it's not bad. A couple bucks. That was nice. Get these out of the way. So I guess it's my turn. No, hold on. Let me show these. So here are a couple more I picked up. Right here. Show all of them. I remember when they were around. Well, I mean, oh, are these games? I think in like Canada. Yeah, they're in still around Europe, in Canada. Not in the U.S. So this is the Sopranos for PS2. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. We got Spider-Man, and then we got Mortal Kombat Deception. So out of these games, I've never played the Sopranos. Obviously, we all know the TV show. Um, Spider-Man though, I spent hours and hours playing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. Those were good games and those are some of those games which are rare that are actually good games and they come from the movie version. We all know that most games that are made for movies and TV shows frankly are just not good but this is definitely one of those games that was fun to play back in the day. I haven't played uh, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, 4 before but I thought it might be cool to pick up pick it up since I used to play the, the ones before that. Mortal Kombat Deception, I actually haven't played this one before. Even though I'm a pretty big Mortal Kombat fan, it's just one of those games that never got around to picking up uh, back in the day. I haven't heard a lot of great things about it, but it's something cool to play. And I just, uh, this year I, I beat that Mortal Kombat X, which maybe I'll review later if you guys are interested in that. But, kind of cheap PS2 games, trying to get that collection growing. Look at this, online broadband only. <laughs> broadband. Actually, there's, there, I saw an Xbox game that mentioned 
uh, DLC and they called it Content DL uh, instead of DLC. Back, back in the, in the day. day. So I guess my, I'm going next. Um, the next couple games, um, we have PlayStation 2 and GameCube titles. Um, some of you guys will automatically recognize them. Um, I'll start off with Onimusha. I yeah. had to get this one because Onimusha is awesome. I love the Onimusha uh, series uh, with Samanusuke, Nomonaga. Um, That's a series that they, if they're gonna, if they do all these stupid remakes, that would be one worth doing. Yes, for the time do a very good remake, not you know just um, like a port basically. Yeah, or no, episodic. Onimusha, I don't want Onimusha episodic. Awesome, man. I have the I have the Xbox version. I think it's Onimusha Genma or something. It's like the one with all the content and all that, but. I love the Onimusha. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Onimusha uh, franchise. Uh, the first three, actually, with Samanusuke. I would love a remake. None of that episodic thing, but just a real good hardcore remake. Um, other than that, I got uh, Revenge of the Sith. I just wanted to play it. And of course, since I'm starting to collect, I want to collect as many as possible. Uh, Project Eden, I have no idea what this is about. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of it either. And so... Mm -hmm. I got it and I, I looked at the back um, it looked interesting especially um, due to severe overpopulation the earth's surface is covered with towering mega cities and so forth you know kind of like that whole um, Deus Ex kind of vibe maybe yeah so I, I have no idea about the game but I'm gonna definitely play it and again guys if you guys want a review or some gameplay or first impressions uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to share it with you guys um, then I got Harry Potter because it brought a movie ticket for <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> but yeah, I bought Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire. It's probably not going to be that good. Same thing with Dino Charge. But hey, I I'm a Power Ranger fan. Uh, I've been watching Power Rangers since I was a child. Um, and I, I love to collect the Legacy line. Have you seen the trailer for the new movie? Uh, yeah, I have, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but If you guys have seen the trailer and are Power Ranger fans, or even if you're not, uh, we're curious to know what you all think. I, I'm not, I don't have... I don't have much hope for that movie. I don't have much hope for that movie either. But you know, I'm a Power Ranger fan, so I probably uh, I've been collecting the Legacy line and pretty much a lot of Power Ranger stuff. But I probably will not be watching that movie. So all, all right. So for me, I'm gonna have a couple of 360 games. Oh, what's this? I want from my one. So um, a couple of ones that you can see here. I got the two Indiana, the Lego Indiana Jones. Fortunately, this one didn't have a cover. I think it's like a Connect game or a Connect cover. But um, so it's Lego Indiana Jones one and two, and they were just cheap. So I got them from a garage sale. They had them both together. Along with that, I also got uh, Bioshock uh, Infinite, which I actually own on the PC. But again, it was part of a whole bundle. I got the whole bundle for like seven bucks. So Does it come with a manual? Yeah, it's everything. It's complete. Oh, it even has the, the receipt. Oh, whose receipt is this? Let's check this out. Oh, this is a person's original receipt. Oh. When they bought it. They paid $59.99 plus a three-year protection plan <laughs> from GameStop. Oh, gotta load those protection plans. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want to show that. But yeah, that's, um, that's what else? What's over here? Oh, Akai Kitana. Katana. Just a, I actually already own this game, but I just got it for trading purposes. And again, it was part of that bundle. And then the last game, which I haven't played before, is this uh, MX versus ATV Untamed. I don't know if it's any good. I really have no idea. But it was cool to pick up. Yeah, you can pretty... see the person who I bought it from. Look, they actually got it from Goodwill also. So it's, these games are being recycled back and forth in the, in the area, which is nice. Yeah, but if they get in my hands, they'll never be recycled again because <laughs> I'm going to keep them forever <laughs> so um, I guess I'll go next um, the next lineup for me is PlayStation 4 titles some of you guys will recognize these because we've actually already made some videos about them or you've seen our gameplay footage um, uh, we'll talk about this one first I guess this is a Vita title Trillion God of Destruction um, I've been wanting to buy this one for a while um, I love the Vita so if you guys um, I Call guess we Vita. haven't put up any videos about the Vita except for no, Zero I, Time Dilemma. Yeah, and then a couple, I think we've done the unboxings. But, yeah. But the Vita, you know, that's one of those, those people that are in the know, they love the Vita. The ones that don't know think it's some, a dead console that has nothing, but 
The Vita is one of those consoles you just have to get. There's so many great games and it's such a cool device. Yes, you do have to get the Vita, especially now that it's pretty much dead. Um, I, when I got the Vita, I originally was not a Vita fan. I, I wanted to get it when it first came out, but of course, Sony and their memory card. Um, yeah. And, We're gonna get me started on that, man. And a lot of other things. I didn't get the Vita. I kind of got it when the when the Borderlands bundle came out. So after that, I was a huge Vita fan. I couldn't get enough of it, and I also wanted to buy more titles. So this one was actually on one of those lightning deals on Amazon. So I got it, and I got it on the cheap. So I ended up buying it. And there's still a couple. There's a lot of titles still coming out for the Vita. Um, not as much as I was like, obviously, but we're getting all those uh, niche titles like those JRPGs and stuff like that, Dungeon Crawler. So there's plenty to get if you don't, if you get a Vita now. Um, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is Shadow Complex. It, I bought this one with Player One because I've always been a fan of Shadow Complex and I wanted a physical title. So Limited Run Games was running it, so I kind of got it. You know um, what got me into Shadow Complex? Um, I didn't even care about it so much when it came out is the fact that, if I'm not mistaken, those are the same people that made Advent Rising. Yes, and by the way, that Advent I am Rising. a huge wow. fan of Advent, Advent Rising. I loved it, I wish they would have continued and made the trilogy that the director wanted to make, yeah. but unfortunately it things It was a happen. shame. That's one of those games, uh, you know, people love, even myself, love things like Mass Effect and all that, but Advent Rising was really ahead of the game. They had their stuff together, there was a lot of cool things happening. It would have been probably the, the space opera of like that generation. That Actually, there's happen. a lot of games that copied from Advent Rising, despite everything. Um, but yes, uh, I think they were the same creators, but I love Shadow Complex, I want to get a physical. Then I got Uncharted 4, this one was from the Collector's Edition with the statue. And I'm not showing the statue because it would be too much, but... Um, I love Uncharted series, so of course I got Uncharted 4, and it was cheap on Best Buy. Um, I think it was $79.99, minus my Gamers Club, so naturally I got it. The ne next one is uh, Zombie U. Um, I wanted to get it for the Wii U. I've been wanting to get it for a while. Um, another one is Arslan, The Warriors of Legend. I love the anime. Is, so it, is that the anime uh, itself? It, it is. It is. Um, and I, it's kind of like a the... What's it called? Dynasty Warriors. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, it's kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game, but I love it and I love the anime, so I kind of wanted cool. to get it. Um, God Eater 2, which you guys already know, we've had, we've done some videos on, and Ratchet and, and Clank. And you actually, you were, I, I got it the day it came out just so I could do an unboxing, but you got a great deal on it because I think you got it like what, 30 bucks or 20 um, bucks off. Yes, I got it for 31 with the 20% off from Gamers Club. Um, by the way, guys, we're not advertising or anything. We're just telling you how we got it. We're not affiliated with best buy in any way but um like everybody is trying to get games cheap and so i i participated in the gamers club so they had it on sale and i ended up buying it for 31 and so i like the gameplay that player one was showing me and he kind of got me into it so i bought it the next the final one is ratchet and clank i'm a huge ratchet and clank fan i've had every single one of their titles even like the so so ones <laughs> but so i bought it and i and and now I'm kind of wanting to see the movie, but I'm kind of hesitant because of the game being the same as the movie, but I'll still watch it. Did you like that one better than the original one? I think I like this one better. Um, of course, the graphics and everything are way better, but I haven't I, picked it up yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my it. favorite gun is the, the disco gun, the one oh. that <laughs> you shoot. Yeah, I saw that. But yeah, that's, that's what I got on PlayStation 4. I gotta pick up that Ratchet and Clank. I haven't picked it up yet. Uh, before I do play before I do PlayStation 4, let me show just a couple PS3 games I got. I got um, Naughty Bear, and I already own that game, but I got it cheap, and I figured anybody ever wants to trade something like that, even though I don't think it's worth very much. And Ninja Gaiden Sigma, which I actually didn't own before, um, and it was cheap. So there you go. I guess for me, the next uh, batch of titles that I got. Um, were portable. Uh, I got a PSP Midnight Run. I already have it, but I didn't have it with the box and the manual. And when I saw it for two dollars, I kind of ended up getting it because I I want pretty much I want all my titles with their own manual. Don't, and, don't we all, dude? Yeah, we with, all their own, want that, with their own box and manual, if possible. So I got it. Um, Daniel X. I bought it for about four dollars, but I wanted to play it because Player One actually told me to try it out. 
So I take no responsibility of a section. I was just telling you I wanted to see you get it. Well, in any <laughs> case, I'll be playing it and Wireway I kind of Wireway got. I like. It's kind of an interesting... I think it's kind of like a hidden gem. It's not a lot of people know about it, but it's an interesting little platform. Yeah, by my favorite... Um... Oh, Kanani. Don't get me started. <laughs> Watch out. Don't even show the name. We might get hit by copyright strike. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, I got these three. And one other two little things that I got um, were my little Gundam toys. I'm a huge Gundam fan. I'd probably drive uh, Player One crazy with, with Gundam series like... I never got too much into a Gundam uh, because I, I don't know, it's just a lot of talk for me, man. I, maybe, I, maybe I missed out on the good series. I probably just saw the bad one back when it was on Toonami and Cartoon Network, but... I love I the know. Gundam series. I love um, the... Uh, was it the Double O Riker? Um, I love the Wing series. Um, pretty much every series of Gundam, with exception to one of them that uh, I forget the name. It eludes me right now. It was so bad that I didn't want it. It's the one where they fight in an arena. But anyway, I'm a Gundam fan, so I've always bought Gundam toys. All right. So since you brought up anime, I'll bring up one of my favorite, probably the first anime I ever saw, Tenchi Muyo. Oh, I got him on this one. I'm a huge Tenchi Muyo fan. He got me. Um, I got it. He, he gave it to me as a gift, and then once I got Tenchi Universe, I said I'm out of, <laughs> I can't stop there. I gotta get back uh, and get the OVAs. So those of you who don't know what Tenchi Muyo is, it's it's it's. I guess it's a harem, right? Yeah, it's with, a harem with, with action. But for me, it was one of the first things I saw uh, growing up as a kid. The, one of the first animes, and even when I've been going over it again now, I, I still love it. It's a lot of fun. It's funny. I love all the characters. Ryoko's probably one of the coolest women in anime ever, you know. And, and talking about that, if you guys have seen Tenchi Muyo, uh, let us know in the comments who do you think Tenchi should end up with. Is it Ryoko? You're start a flame war. Dude. Yeah, is it Ryoko, Aeka, Sasami, Mihoshi, any one of the girls? So let us know. It's... For me, it has to be Ryoko, without a doubt. Ryoko's got to be the one. I guess maybe. I have my own picks. <laughs> uh, the, these two, also another thing is, the OVA, um, I don't oh, know about- bring it back. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I like the OVA better. Uh, there's a big contention here, I guess if that's the word. There's a big uh, fight in the internet. Some people like the OVA better, some people like the, the Tenchi Universe better. I think the OVA is what I love the cool one. I like the OVA better too. Um, and I love the movies. Um, oh, the movies are great. The movies are great. The movies are I great. even like, despite I know part two with uh, the daughter is not liked really it. liked, but, no, but I liked it. I liked it. I love Tenshi Muyo, except for GXP. I didn't really get into GXP. So, oh, this is your title. Go oh. get it out of here. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go next. How many do you have left? I have a couple left. You can. All right, do that stack. All right. So, for me, um, the next batch of titles is movie titles and some oh man if oh, you guys yeah. if you guys that know this cool you have to get big this. guy rusty man i remember that i had the toy and the one that comes with the oh, big yeah. guy it was like a, like a big um it was the actual mech the, yeah the, the, the it was guy, big, big guy. guy yeah and it brought rusty the toy so um i think i still have them but it's not complete and you know when you trying to keep your toys but uh, you lose them and so forth, but I love the Big Guy and Rusty show. So when I saw this, I immediately got it without even thinking twice. I didn't even care about the price. Um, I am a little bit disappointed because I got it through Amazon, and I guess the publisher or the maker, they really don't dedicate too much time. I mean, it was really it's cheap. Like a homebrew, dude. Yeah, it was kind of like you feel like you're buying uh, something on pirated or what, but whatnot. But it's actually the legit titles um and made by sony but they really didn't take any time and that happens a lot a lot of those like older cartoons that are like I, I picked up godzilla a while ago the old godzilla and men in black they don't really bring anything on the inside they're kind of no nice. but it's I, nice to have them. it's I, I like to have them because i'll watch them again um and collect them but i'm kind of disappointed because this i got it for i think it was 27 on yeah, sale so yeah and it kind of i kind of feel a little bit burnt because I love it, but I'm kind of burnt because they didn't even take any time. Uh, even, even a special edition. Yeah, yeah, nothing. But yeah, uh, before I take it away. Then also, The Legend of Zelda. I used to watch this before going to school. And I will love watching this with the Super Mario Brothers cartoon and... Um, 
what was it Nintendo Power? No, not Nintendo Power. Um, oh, I, I forget the name right now, but it was the the guy with the power glove. Um, so I I used to watch the show, and every Friday they would give the link the Legend of Zelda cartoon, so I would watch it religiously. Um, another thing is Civil War. I kind of got it. this. Yeah, I liked it, and I got it in the 3D because I have a I have a 3D blu uh, not a 3D Blu-ray player, but a 3D TV, and every 3D movie that comes out I try to watch it because I love 3D. Um, yeah, it's a shame that kind of went the wayside. Yeah, it's kind of a shame, but I I, I like the movie. Uh, it was definitely way better than Batman v Superman. And don't get me started on that because I'm a huge DC fan. I hear you, man. I you know, and I know again. I'd love to hear what everybody else thinks, and we may even start some controversy, but I personally like the characters from DC better. I, I love but DC. But they really, really messed up. They really messed up the movies, man, and they're not getting any better. So what you got there? All right, uh, here's my last batch. First thing, um, here's some Metal Earths, if you guys know what this is. So basically what, the, what these are, well, I'll show them in two batches. What these are, are they come in very thin sheet, uh, sheets, they're like laser cut or laser printed, whatever. And the idea is those sheets become little models. So you'll see like there's a couple, and they were cheap in GameStop, which I don't usually like shopping at GameStop, but they were like under two bucks. So I got the Star Wars ones, and then I also got some Halo ones. You know, I've been wanting to get into this, but it's because tough, I saw some of the ones that you were making, but between Gundams and video games and anime and everything <laughs> else that I like um, you know I've got a, a black hole in my wallet so yeah I hear you man uh, but uh, so yeah that's the Metal Earth I guess for me the last two titles that I bought were these two um, I don't really I don't really play too much uh, sports games but this one was again two dollars and it was the collector's edition and I kind of got it um, I'm hoping to play with it with player one um, so that way if I suffer because the game is not that good then he'll suffer too suffer yeah. but um, yeah I mean it's it's a football game there's no it's a Madden game there's not much to say it but um, say about it but yeah I think it'll be fun other than that I bought this one as well have you played that before I have not it's interesting I, I have not but those of you who don't know it and, and pick it up I won't ruin it for you. I'll just say this: in the in the menu, there's a secret little um, Easter egg. Click on the girls. Just do that. Click on the girls. Okay. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> All right. So here's my last uh, couple games. I, I should have done this before, but just Tomb Raider, uh, oh. Rise of the Tomb Raider, and Resident Evil Six. So you already saw this in un unboxing. If you haven't, um, go ahead and click. The, you can click the link and see what's inside it. So that's the, that's the. The 20 Resident Evil, yeah, the 20, they call it a 20 year celebration because we got it the PS4. But what I really want to talk about is Resident Evil 6. So I own this game and I beat it already on Xbox 360 when it came out. But I wanted to pick it up to see if it was a little better. And you know, I haven't played through a whole game again, which I'm going to definitely do. But it, it's held up. Now this is one of those games that has had a lot of controversy. A lot of people talk smack about it, that it, that it wasn't good. It, it was not what Resident Evil was. But let me tell you, I actually really liked it. I think they did some pretty interesting things in the way that the storytelling happened and there's a lot of good stuff in there you know I'll put in my two cents and I'll tell you I've been playing Resident Evil since Resident Evil 1 back when you know they had terrible <laughs> Resident Evil yeah when it was just Resident Evil and they had terrible those live were, action actors those things? Uh, yeah they used the live motion yeah so but anyway and and everything in video games has to naturally evolve but I I do love this game. I love, I love playing Leon. By the way, I love Leon's my favorite yeah, character. Um, but I, I think they, I, I, in my opinion, they did a real good job on this game. I know there's some areas where there the, were some stuff. I didn't, I didn't love Chris's campaign. I don't really like Chris too much. <laughs> but that, you know what, you know why Chris is not good? They've messed them. You know, we should do a whole video. Let's, let, let's promise. We'll, we'll do a whole video because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. We'll do a whole video on the series of Resident Evil's and our opinions. Maybe we'll review some. But just quickly, they've messed up Chris since Resident Evil 5. Man. I don't yeah, know what I agree Resident with Evil 5 was not was one of those games that was questionable. Uh, but I like this one. I do not. Maybe we should. I don't know if we should mention it. I don't dig that Resident Evil 7. I am not a fan not. of the Resident or Evil 7. Or PT slash Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a fan of Resident Evil 7 or Biohazard. That what they're calling it, but not a fan. Um, I think they were trying to copy uh, no, no, Silent Hill guaranteed. PT. Yeah. Like, guaranteed. They saw PT was a 
was a big hit and it decided to do that. But I guess that's for another time. Um, for you guys uh, and guys and gals, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please let us know if you like this or not. Um, I hope you do. We like getting together and just showing off what we got. And I'm sure right now we're going to just play a lot of these games and see what they're about. Yeah. I don't even think they all fit on frame. No. Um, yeah, so we like doing this. Uh, please let us know if you'd like us to do more of these videos. Uh, any suggestions you can ha you have for this stuff. Maybe we'll do one uh, after Black Friday. That would be cool. See if we pick up some cool stuff. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> see if we pick up some cool stuff. See? It's falling apart, dude. Uh, that's my fault. Um, so, again... Give us some suggestions. If you liked it, please like the video. Feel free to subscribe. And I guess I hope to hear from you guys soon. This is Player 1 signing out. And Player 2 signing out. Um, be on the lookout. I am making the Digital versus Physical Part 2. Yeah, that's right. Um, I was almost done with it, but new information came out, so I had to redo it. But keep a lookout for that. It is coming out. And thank you for watching. Um, as Player 1 said, subscribe. And if you have any comments, uh, leave them down below. And thank you for watching. All right, see you soon.